Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Makeup by Sunrise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy fall. We're officially in fall. <laughs> I know I've been missing in action for some time here on YouTube, but it's because I've been hustling and bustling on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, go ahead and follow me at Makeup by Sunrise so that you can keep up with me when I'm not here on YouTube. However, I am going to make sure that I'm still juggling both so that you guys can get as much content as you can. Uh, with that being said, make sure you do check out my Instagram because I did create um, a sunflower look, including these leaves in the, the background. And also, you want to check out my Halloween series that is going on over on my Instagram. So without further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyelids off camera and put a little bit of um, like translucent powder. So the first palette we're going to be using is the Rimmel London Magnifying Eye, well Magnify Eyes, the Thunderstorm Edition. Right? So we're going to be using this green here first it's kind of like a um, olive green like a a camo green if you say I'm gonna be using my elf crease brush and we're gonna be using that color in the crease of course so I'm gonna be using my small mirror, mirror here from my um, Smashbox palette So basically what I'm doing here is I'm starting off really lightly by just tapping in the color because I want to, you know, make sure I know where exactly I want the color. If I want it to go a little bit higher or if I want it to keep it low. So let me just set this down here so I don't drop it. And let me just show y'all this. You see how pigmented this is? This is so cute. I hope you guys can see it. Oh, there you go. Pointing in the wrong camera direction. So, let me keep my mirror up so that I can see. So, what's been going on with you guys? It's finally October. Well, <laughs> it's like the, what is this? The second full week in October. So, really, it's really week three. How's it going? Have you guys have your pumpkin spice ice latte? Because I know I surely have had my, a few of a few. <laughs> Those are my favorites. Favorite. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I don't know why I feel so like singy songy today. Like you guys notice this? Like I'm singing. And talking to you guys at the same time. I don't know why. I guess I'm really in a good mood. Oh my god. I can't believe like the year is almost over. Like we're in the fourth quarter of 2020. We're in the final. Well, the finals of 2020. Like quarantine, COVID, we're over you. Karanda, Rona, whatever you want to call her. We're over you, boo. We are over you. Oh my god, the radio station is playing Love on a Two-Way Street. And I want to sing so bad. But y'all not ready for that. We ain't about, we, I ain't ready to have that discussion with y'all. About my singing. Okay, so now that I've built up the color to my liking. You guys see that? 
feel like I need to add a little bit more on this eye. Just a little bit. Not too much. Because sometimes I do get carried away. Right? I think that's enough. So I'm going to clean off this brush because I'm going to use it again. But I'm going to use a different green. Give me a minute. Okay, so now that we cleaned off our brush nice and clean, we're going to go into the City Mini, <laughs> City Mini Palette in the Urban Jungle. So it's like with a bunch of nice greens in here. Really sparkly stuff. Right? So we're going to be using this dark green right here. I know this green is a dark green, but here's the catch. This green is more like a, it has like a, I feel like it has like a black undertone to it. I did some swatches on my hand before I came on camera. And I hope you guys could see this. I should have did it on my right arm. I don't know why I did it on my left. But this is the green that we put down first from Rimmel London. And the green right here is from the City Mini Palette. So this is the green that we're going to um, apply to the crease on top of the first one. So you see how it's darker than the first one? I feel like the first one is giving more like a money green, but not the bright money green, if you get what I'm saying. So we're going to tap into that. Right? Let's see. Look at that. It almost looks the same as the first one on the brush, which is like so freaking weird to me. So let's see. I'm going to do the same motion and tap across on here. So I'm looking into my bigger mirror down here and the difference that I'm seeing is that like, <coughs> excuse me, it added more depth to the first color that we put on. That's why I said it kind of has like this gray, like this black, maybe it's like grayish undertone to the green that look make it look that way. And I hope it's picking up on the camera. Mm. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Moving on. Anyway, so are you guys doing anything for Halloween? Are you guys going to be trick-or-treating, dressing up, going to Halloween parties? What's going on? Let me
Oh, <laughs> did y'all see what happened? Did y'all see what happened? So I picked up this flat shader brush. Used the same color that we did to do the little line trick. Listen. Let, let, let me show you what what I did, right? Okay, swipe on at this point. Sometimes you gotta improvise because there's always room for error. Especially when you're working with concealer that takes a minute to dry down. So we're going to do the same on the other side. Alright, so I added some eyeliner. Dramatic eyeliner. I use the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner in dag dagger because it's really quick. It's like a sharpie. You just so I have some other parts of the eye that I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna finish the rest of the face and then we're gonna finish up the eyes. And that's it. And this is. The Rimmel London Wonder Swipe 2 in 1 liner to shadow in the shade. Okay, the shade is not up here, but it's this green one. They have two greens. They have like a lime green and then this dark green. So what I'm going to do is basically... See how that eye is just like, boom, green. I think the color call is called Kaching, now that I, rem I think I'm remembering. It's either Kaching or like Emerald City or something, because it's reminding me of Emerald City from The Wiz. Okay, so I made sure I took it all the way to the inner corner and I brought it out. So that's just going to be our like under eye highlight. I like that. So we're going to do the same to the other side. Then we're going to apply mascara and lashes. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes um, mascara, the dual side that I love. You know, to plump it up. And then, we're going to apply lashes. Alrighty, so this is where we at so far. I added, you know, mascara and my lashes. Shout out to my girl, Ariane, who has her own business going on with Island Aura Lashes. So check her out on Instagram, Island Aura Lashes. These are in the style Carry On. And I love them so much. She has five different styles right now. I can't wait to see what she has coming up in the future. Also, she does make wigs. So if you want your wig made, you want your hair done for the wig to be installed, and you want some dope-ass lashes to look fire, hit up my girl Ariane, all right? So now we're going to just do the lips. I'm going to line my lips with some dark brown liner by NYX really quick.
Okay. And now I'm going to use NYX Soft Cream Lip Soft Matte Lip Cream in Berlin. So I'm going to do one, two, oh no, got to take out some more. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Right, I'm gonna line my lips one more time to make it a little bit bolder and then I'm gonna add some Fenty gloss on top and chocolate I like to just dab a little bit because sometimes a lot comes out on the applicator so I can control how much lip gloss I want. I think that's good and now to set my face I'm going to use Smashbox Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray 2 there we go okay, so this is the final look I had to put on my Oops. I had a little oil in my hair. I'll show y'all the waves. Show y'all the waves. Right? You're looking kind of rough. I'm due for a haircut. I haven't had my haircut since August. So it's almost like almost about two months that I've been, I guess the waiver term will be wolfing. So, but I'm kind of liking it. But I kind of miss like not having no hair like ball ball but y'all get the point um i had so much fun filming with you guys today hope to see you guys in my next tutorial bye